Hey everybody, Mark here at 8-Minute Axe. It never ceases to amaze me at just how prevalent the 12-string is throughout the history of rock and roll. It seems like every day I find out that another one of my favorite songs has a 12-string in it. Today I'm going to play you seven songs, all hits, and in my opinion, all classics, that I think have to be in the conversation when you're talking about the great 12-string songs in history. Now you may say, of course, to some of these, but I guarantee at least a couple of these are going to surprise you. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to perform the songs chronologically. First up is a song that was released in August of 1964 and spent three weeks at number one. The song went on to sell over 7 million copies and is probably the most well-known song by this rock legend. Although there were four guitar players on the session, it was Roy Orbison himself who played the 12-string part on his Epiphone Bard Acoustic 12. Oh, pretty one. Next up is a song that was released in March of 1966. The song was recorded on December 12, 1965, but producer Brian Wilson wasn't satisfied with it and asked that a 12-string part be added. Wilson asked guitarist Billy Strange to lay down the 12-string part. When Strange remarked that he didn't own a 12-string, Wilson made a couple of calls, and a few minutes later, two delivery men showed up at the back door of the studio with a brand new Fender 12 and a Fender Twin Reverb amp. The song spent 11 weeks on the charts, peaking at number three, Sloop John B. This next song was also released in 1966. It was the fifth consecutive top 20 hit for Simon and Garfunkel and peaked at number 13. The Bangles covered this song and took it all the way to number two in 1987. I have no doubt that their version would have hit number one had they used a 12 string. A Hazy Shade of Winter. This next song is a personal favorite of mine, and while it wasn't a huge hit on the charts, it is the most well-known song by this band, and if you were listening to rock radio in the 80s, you know this song well. Reaching number 61 on the Billboard Hot 100 and number 10 on U.S. Mainstream Rock, from their debut album in 1983, Zebra's Who's Behind the Door. If you grew up watching MTV in the 80s, you'll know this one for sure. Coming in at number 25 on the top 100 Australian songs of all time, this song peaked at number 24 
in the spring of 1988, Under the Milky Way by the Church. Okay, these last two are without a doubt my favorites on the list. First up is a song that was originally released in September of 1991 on the Chili Peppers breakthrough album, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. It was the fourth single released off the album and this was the first song I ever covered on my channel. Breaking the Girl. All right, I saved the best for last. This song was released in November of 1991, and a month later it became the second single off the brilliant Octung Baby. And this song features just about the coolest 12-string riff ever. I had so much fun with it, and I did take a few liberties. Mysterious Ways. <laughs> Don't forget to enter this month's Van Gogh 12 string guitar giveaway. Every month I give away a brand new Van Gogh 12 string guitar package. I've given over 20 away to date. Details on how to enter this month's contest are in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment, give it a like and leave me a comment. And if you've made it this far and you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Most importantly though, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.